Kere YouTube. Global zor olabı. Hey. This is a bird. And there it goes. Okay, so we're talking about 11 minutes to 5. Let's just come out here and have a bit of a look and see what we've got here. Uh, there's a fair bit of water and tar in the water and tar trap. There we have the dish. If we come around and have a bit of a look there, we can see that, yeah, it's kind of totally in shadow. If we have a bit of a look here at the gasometer, we can see that when we have a half a pound of lead on top of the gasometer, it sticks up less than it does when we take that off. And <coughs> I've been running this thing pretty much all day. And as far as I can see, I've got 1.75 litres of gas in the gasometer at the moment. And if I add this chunk of a quarter of a pound of lead and I'm really 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 careful whoopsie I think I didn't quite get it perfectly centered there it seems to be there so instead of 0. 0.1 of a pound per square inch we actually have something like 0.25 of a pound per square inch in the gasometer yeah so like I said let's see what we get when we open the tea cozy and we take off the first ceiling band so let's see what we get as we open the can and see what we have within so we have a little bit of a look And that seems relatively impressive. And before we weigh the wood, we should probably sorry about that uh, minor distraction. We should probably. weigh the water in the tar which is kind of sort of easy and that's not difficult so let's just do that okay so that sort of looks like 25 mils how um so ever at around about 14.27 I had to disconnect the plumbing because what had happened was this thing had cooled down to the point where it actually sucked between 1 and 2 mils into it so although that says it's 25 mils it's probably 
in actuality about 22 mils because I would say that perhaps possibly three mils has come up out of the water trap. So let's just call that 22 mils of water and tar. So then when we weigh the end charge, so 6.5 grams. Eight point five grams, and that gets written down. Four point six grams, four point seven grams, five point eight grams. Five point six grams three point four grams five point four grams four point two grams Four point two grams. Eight point four grams. Two point seven grams. Three point one grams, one point six grams, four grams. Not point five grams. Worth the scrapings. So there we go. 100 grams of wood and that's what it turns into that's kiln dried pine off cuts and what it weighs up to well that equals 73.2 grams At least that's how I add the numbers. So 26.8% or something has been driven out of the wood. And if we allow 22 millilitres to be in the water trap, well, that kind of leaves 4.9 grams of mass having become wood gas which pretty much boils down to 4 litres of burnable wood gas and half a litre of unburnable water vapour 
in four hours of actual sun on the dish. All of which seems to indicate that um, if you got 0.4 of a square meter of offset parabolic reflector pointing onto half a liter worth of canister with 100 grams of pine in there, you can get sort of nearly five liters of gas coming off the thing. Okay. Uh, 4.5 liters. Point, uh, sorry, four liters of which is burnable, and uh, it turns out you can turn 4.9 percent of the wood into gas in four hours, and that's when you haven't really got a big enough reflector. Um, I'm sort of torn between the idea of putting the bigger reflector onto the same size can or moving ahead with the existing setup, which is already there and I can, you know, use it next time I get a sunny day and try using other woods like stringy bark, eucalyptus, yellow box, eucalyptus, casuarina sub rosa, it's a forest or black oak, um, or various kinds of wattle, all of which I happen to have available. So, who knows? Um, we shall see what we shall see. But at the moment, as far as I can make out, you can get roughly around about four litres per hundred grams of pine, four litres of burnable gas. So a kilogram of split Pinus radiata, 40 litres of burnable wood gas. And that's if you've only got 0.4 of a square metre per 500 mils. If you've got 0.4 a square metre per litre, you'll do slightly better. And if you've got 1.2 square metres per litre, yeah, who knows? Um, my theory is you may be perhaps possibly able to get between 80 and 100 litres out of a kilogram of pine. And then if you move on to hardwood, <laughs> well, you know, you, you may be looking at 150 or 200 litres of burnable wood gas per kilogram of hardwood, which falls down out of the forest canopy and otherwise decorates the forest floor. And uh, all you can really call it is bushfire fuel hazard. So, yeah, this may be worth doing. You don't have to burn anything. You just use a mirror. You turn the windfall bushfire fuel into gas that you can use and charcoal, pure carbon, to scatter back onto the forest floor to become fertilizer as you put carbon back into the soil. Four litres per 100 grams per four hours. So we have almost one and a half litres. Oopsie, I misspoke. There's almost 1.7 litres there in the gasometer. And because methane and hydrogen burn with an almost clear flame, I'm going to wait for a bit before I try to burn this. Okay, let's see what we've got. Would you look at that? We have burnable gas.
What do you think? Four litres of burnable gas from 100 grams of wood. 40 litres per kilogram. I think this is worth doing. Ciao.